Hey guys and girls, this is Gordon Overkill and those who have seen my last episode on YouTube will know that today is a sad day for the whole lizard kind because today Sally uh, took her last breath in her adventures and that was really very disappointing to me. I hoped to get a little, uh, little further into the game with her. It didn't work. I thought about it and I think the main reason was uh, my desire to play a little uh, faster <laughs> and uh, not to bore you too much. That's why I did not pay attention and I rec recognized too late that she was already poisoned and heavily injured. Um, still, as I told you in this episode, I'm very much looking forward to play some more Adom this time uh, at the moment. So I am going to start a new s series right now, second episode recorded today. And therefore, we are going to uh, generate a new character right now. Let's see what character we get. A Ravenborn character. Raven is an amazing star sign. You get a speed bonus and... Uh, well, I think that's uh, doppelgangers and also dangerous and stuff. I think once again we will fate roll the character. Let fate decide what we get, and it's going to be a random, totally random character. This time we get a male high elf, okay, a ravenborn high elf. At the age of 200, you end your apprenticeship, you are now a fully learned elementalist. Whoa, that's something totally different from what we played so far. A ravenborn high elf elementalist. Randomly do this, and it's an elementalist. Uh, hmm. We definitely take alert because we might uh, once again go for an ultra ending if we get the chance to. Um, we need an elven name, which is... Uh, how do elves call themselves? Something maybe like... Uh, let's call him God. Durian, that sounds very elven, I think. Gordurian the elf. So here he is, Gordurian the male high elven elementalist. As always, our first aim is Tyrannio, and here we're going. We're going to take a look at our character. What do we have here? Strength 12, learning 15 is quite nice. Willpower 10, dexterity 22 is very nice. Toughness 12, okay. Bad charisma. Better appearance. Well, we will get horrible shop prices, I'm afraid. Magic is okay. Perception is okay. Well, it does not look too bad, I think. We have got a rope, which does one point of protection, but we're surely not going to wear it, because this one point of protection helps us less than true berserking. We've got a ring of fire resistance and a ring of protection, which we are both going to wear, because it does not stop us from berserking. Want of dog creation, want of cold. Wow, we start with a want of cold, that's amazing. Want of trap detection, want of water, a potion of water, potion of healing. We know scrolls of identify, and scroll light might also come handy. That's a nice starting equipment, I guess. Let's take a look at our skills. Concentration will be top priority. Dodge is always nice to have. Um, we have healing, so we will go for herbalism. I think that's the tiny girl, isn't she? Yeah, tiny girl, we definitely want your quest. Wait for us. Here she is. Talk to the tiny girl, and we also, in order to get herbalism, talk to good Alak. That's the quest that we want to do. And as we're an, uh, we are an elementalist, so I would like to show you another thing. We already start with two spells, with uh, a couple of castings, Burning Hands and Frostbolt. Okay, we're an Elementalist, so the Wand of Cold is not as useful as it would have been otherwise. Anyway, uh, let's start into our adventure. First thing, like I like to do so often, let's get in here. Okay, maybe we have to outrun some of these guys, does not care. And here, here is hostile, the frog. I do not think that we will meet too many frogs on our adventures. So let our first kill be a frog. Yeah, 
kill this guy. And we kill him the magician style with burning hand spell. Set. The frog is dead. Pick up the cloak, the scrolls. And hmm. the orc is hostile, we might kill him too. Let's to try to do it in true berserking. How do we do? Nice, he's dead. So, eat him. And we might just take a look into this dungeon to see if we can maybe find... Oh, fuck. If we can maybe find a mixed tension room. Red, giant centipede, cobalt, radar, pixie, cobalt, orc, large cobalt, bandit, double drop for... Okay, at least no too tough enemies. So let's see how far we get with true berserking. Get the first one. Now come on, you're a berserker. So that's how it's done. As he said, concentration is priority. Dodge, definitely. And the third talent that we're going to increase. Hmm. First aid. First aid might be helpful. Yeah, we've got one more. Um, mm -hmm. which will this one talent be? Maybe one on literacy. So, here we go. Okay, we got poisoned by this guy, which I do not like very much, but I hope that his poison is not too strong. Level 3, nice. Mm. Okay, now we have not many useful talents. Swimming might be very nice if we find a river. Mm. Little boost for healing is also not too bad. Climbing and gemology. Okay. We get a new talent. Okay. And there we take long stride because it was recommended in the thread for the last series and uh, I'd like to give it a try. Hope that it works fine. Okay, we get some damage from the poison. And it's severely wounded. Okay. And it is slain. Throw us dead. Pixie is dead. This is a ghoul, right? Okay, ghouls are very dangerous. Let's try to kill him with magic while in coward mode. That works. Fine. Reach level 4. Okay, that's already quite a high level for the place that we are in. Uh, hmm. I'll take one more on concentration, though it's not that much worth it. One more on literacy. Swimming above 50 is nice to have. And maybe a little more healing because we are uh, an elf, we heal very slowly otherwise. So, what did they drop? Scroll, bandit corpse, and of course, lots of rocks. And those are maybe the most valuable thing we can get here. So, do we want to take a closer look into this dungeon? Door is locked. Hmm. Let's keep it that way. I do not want to die from a from a trap. So short after the beginning. Okay, here we've got a goblin. Try to kill him. Works. Do not manage to take care of your wounds. I'm not happy with this poison. And the poison is gone. Nice. So. Okay, that was not good. Anyway, we reached the outlaw settlement. Let's see what we have here. This is an assassin who does not care about us. Let's hope it stays that way. He's still not caring yet. 
This guy looks somehow. No, he's also not hostile. Nice. What about this guy? He is hostile and he's dangerous. So let us try to kill him with the frostbolt. Bam! One more frostbolt. Oops. Great. Oh, okay, and he's dead. Nice. There we've got some more enemies. Bah, the shop. That was the next thing. Let's see what the shop has to offer. Six rocks. Interesting. Warhammer. Ring of Searching. School of Power. Uh, four rocks. Wooden shield. And key. A metal cap. Uh, some quite nice items. Of a waterproof blanket might be very nice if we do not get another one. Let us um, take a look. Oh, we already got 21 rocks and six backup rocks, so I do not think we need to buy these rocks. Anyway, we've got a lot of stuff identified. Our next aim will now be the Druid Dungeon. Here. That's a nice starting dungeon. Although we have to take care of the last level. If you saw Godizzle's adventures, you know that this might be quite clever to uh, not directly do the, the bottom level, but at least we want to spawn the druid. Sooner or later we definitely want to uh, finish him, him off in order to get herbalism. Okay, this is ghost bat. Against those nastier monsters, I will always try to uh, uh, use magic. Be very nice if we were able to find some pieces of armor. Berserking is uh, an advantage, advantage in the beginning, but we do not want to do that for too long. Is that a dagger? Okay. I guess that a dagger is somehow cooler than a quarter stuff, isn't it? Well, we might learn quarter stuffs to level one. That's somehow cool to have it. We will dive quickly because we want to spawn K trucks at a level as low as possible. Broadsword, that's definitely a better weapon. Oh, teleport trap. So now we've got uh, staves at uh, level 2 and we change to the broadsword. Let's hope it's not cursed. No, it's not. And it's a broadsword of penetration. Oh, wow. This is a nice weapon. And this is a blink dog. Oh my, take good care. We are too lucky at the moment. And the moments when you are too lucky are very often in Adam, the moments shortly before you die. Anyway, we will not try to fight this blink dog right now because I think that the blink dogs would, at the moment, very likely kill us. Concentration, concentration, and concentration, and maybe one on concentration. Oh, bad rolls. Okay, we want to get through there. There is a tension room on this level. We have to take good care not to run into something very dangerous. Okay, it's another mixed tension room. I'm not very happy with these things. Huge bed. 
the spider. I do not want to melee the spider. Let's try to do it with the frostbolt. We've already got a couple of different spells too, but frostbolt have got the most charges from the bolt spells. So, did we kill the spider? Yeah, I think so. Nice. RP. Swordsman. Swordsman is rather strong, so let's use burning hands against him. Redling archer. No. We need this guy. Is that giant bat? They can do some damage. level 6. Now we are fire resistant. That's nice. And we improve our concentration four times. So we are now going to go for treasure hunter I think. Let's take the missile talent now so we can take treasure hunter at level 9. Giant centipede is a poisonous enemy. So and also the ghoul is uh, potentially deadly. I like the fact that we're making some levels, so we... Oh, okay, Fisher. Damn, wait. No, no, no. I need to regenerate some power points. I want to kill this cave Fisher with magic. Have we got enough for our burning hands? No. But until he reaches us, we will hopefully have eight. Yeah. Burning hands at the cave fisher. Nice. A short bow, that's always good to have. But what I do not like is the fact that we still have no armor at all. Oh, there is a necromancer. That's why there are so many skeletons and ghouls and stuff around. No, he's dead. Large orc. This one is also very strong. Take good care when we fight him. Or rather, directly burn him to death. Okay. Okay, we took some damage. But nothing too bad. So, what do we have here? A medium shield, great. Like crossbow, very good. Water. Something to eat. Some money. We will eat this goblin very soon. But okay, first, kill all those enemies around. Cool. Magic. This was really a quite dangerous room. Still is. Anyway, we survived. That was the first rather dangerous situation, but I'm very glad about those spells that elementalists get at every early level. Uh, Cobalt Chieftain, this guy is power star. Chieftain is also rather strong. Do it this way. And see if we get concentration to 100. Yes, we do. Well, for a couple of rounds we put everything on concentration. Against this beetle, we'd rather use Frostbolt because he's immune to fire. Okay. Quite a nice performance of Gordurian so far. He uses a mixture of uh, missile tactics 
and magic against the toughest opponents. I am Russian, nice. What I forgot, I wanted to equip this shield that he just found. Here it is. Oh, it's a Mithra shield, nice. Plus five prote uh, defense, plus one protection. What do we have here? A Pixie Archer. Halbert. Halbert, Halbert. At least good to sell. We have Burden, that's not too bad because it trains our strength. Tactic works quite well. And of course, we are wearing an amazing weapon. Penetration is very good. We can even use this one until late in the game if it survives for long enough. So, and now we feel some sinister presence, and we are directly surrounded by a couple of rather Nasty opponents, so let us retreat and try not to get poisoned and get a clear line of fire without the cat. Ah, oh, come on, cat. Meow. I do not want to kill you. Running hands against this spider. What do we do with the cat? Let us just try to explore the rest of the level at first. Okay, that's the Dark Sage. Now we see that Sage. Ah, uh, this guy is a little too strong for me. He's got a burn. And a Frostbolt against that guy. Elementalists are rather easy to play in the early game because you need not care about uh, about your spells. You automatically get spells with every every level increase. Offensive elemental spells and that's a very big advantage. Oh, the Harpy is dangerous. See that we can kill most of them with our burning hand spell. Locked door. Well, let's keep it locked. Oh no. Maybe not. Keep it locked. Uh, ha! Fuck you! I think that's not so good for the cat. Here we have got a dark room. Let's read the scroll of light. Okay, that was not very helpful. Anyway, check it. I will try to use the darkness. No, I will not. Practically, we already got rid of the cat. No need to risk anything. Or to trap it in a room or whatever I thought of. So, now let's just get out of this level again. We're definitely not strong enough to take on the druid. So, still, I'm very happy with all the levels we made and with some of the items we found. Oh. We've got a great sword, we've got a nice shield. Could be worse, I think. I definitely have to stay concentrated this time in order not to mess it up. Master, okay, this guy did some damage, and that's oh, that's danger. Can we kill it with firebolt, or should we rather just run away? I guess run away. A rifting mass of primal chaos. There is a chaos trap somewhere on this level, and the monster walked into it too often. And I do not want to deal with this dangerous, nasty jelly.
because like I said, I would love Gordurian to get a little further. All of my last characters died rather quickly and I do not really like this. You know, there are different ways to play Adon. There are people who uh, roll a couple of characters and play a rather risky early game in order to see who survives this game and that will be their promising characters. Um, I do not like to play it that way. I rather uh, try to get as far as possible with each single character that I play. I don't know why, know why but uh, to me it's just a matter of principle that I uh, do not want any of my characters to die. Mm -hmm. I hope that in the long term that will help me to uh, deal with dangerous game situations. Did I mention that Burning Hands is an amazingly strong spell? Actually this uh, kind of philosophy also makes the game more fun to play for me because uh, that allows me to identify even more with my characters. I'd love one of those spiders to drop a corpse. Can I even create corpses with a burning hand spell? I don't know that. I kind of... Is there a secret door? No, we're stuck in the webs. Oh fuck, and we got poisoned from those little spiders. That's annoying. Anyway, we're done with this level. Oh, maybe not yet. This guy definitely wants to die before we continue. Ah, okay, that's what I waited for. Frostbolt. Bam. Now there are no new Red's going to be spawned. What do we increase? First aid. Literacy a little more. And once more. Because at one point I definitely also want to learn the uh, from learn from spell books. I guess there's some hidden room on this level, but uh, I will not bother to find it. Okay, we've got a dark room. Uh, that's a giant frog. I do not want to kill too many of you guys. But I also hope that we will just not meet too many. Hmm. <laughs> I'm very sure that there is a secret door on this level too. We're still poisoned, that's not so good. No, no secret door, there's a corridor that I forgot about. poison go away at least it's not a very strong poison remember the poison that Sally got hit by that killed her in a very short time well almost killed her effectively she killed herself in the end but uh, let's not talk about that anymore <laughs> Need this bug there. 
Uh, food does not seem to be an issue at the moment. And this poison is also gone. Nice. That's a doppelganger. And against this guy, of course, we use our magical powers. What do we have here? No special dungeon features so far. Only thing we have to remember is that there is still a blink dog. I think it was on DD4. This guy is definitely going to be important for us in the future. Oops. Okay, a stream of energy is not ice. For a moment I was afraid that it might actually be a, an Ogre Magus at DD1 that would have been uh, really nasty. Okay. Anyway, we should play a little slower because we got some damage from the last enemies. Like I said, I promised to take better care of this character than I did of the last ones. So, guess that's it. We're done with this dungeon, so let us take a short look to, uh, well, we kill this wolf, wolves on the way. But then we'll go to the outlaw settlement in order to uh, sell some stuff. And afterwards, our next aim will be the puppy cave. Silver wolf gonna be magically killed. with him. Another assassin. Also, fuck. That was the wrong spell. Can we directly kill him with burning hands? I hope so. Yeah, we can. Nice. That was close. That should not happen too often. I used the fireball, which was not only a waste of charge, but also it gave the enemy a chance to hit us, which might have easily been deadly. So what do we want to sell? One for the dagger, that's bad dagger. Three is a little better dagger, but do need it too. Oh, we get bad prizes here. Well, maybe, maybe that's because this guy's an orc and we are an elf. And I think everybody of you knows that orcs and elves do not like each other that much. So we will keep the helmet and sell it elsewhere where we get a little more money for it. The sling is three, I cross for twenty-six, short bow, eighteen, okay, might all be uncursed. Although I'm not one hundred percent sure, so I will not use them at the moment. Anything else you want to sell? Don't think so. Well maybe those two scrolls. Uh yeah. So that's it. Uh, one more thing we might do in this episode is lure this nice little guy here, Skrieg the Cloaked Rattling, out of town. So uh, at one point in the future we will not get into trouble with him. That just means he should go to the corner of the map. Come on, Shriek. No, 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 yeah, that's the right direction. Go to the corner of the map. Go to the corner of the... Yeah, yeah nice. That's nice. Now he follows us to Terreno. Here we leave him and enter this dungeon and that's where we're going to play the next episode. 
So everybody, I hope you stay with us. I hope you cheer Gordurian uh, through this adventure so he might actually be another successful character after some rather sad runs in the, in the recent past. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you will be with us again for the next episode. Bye everybody.